Hey guys, Eric Catcher with Century 21. Uh, as we come to kind of a close of the 2020 year, uh, we can look back at this year and kind of wonder, wow, that was a very interesting year. Uh, our hearts and our condolences go out for anyone, those who have been injured or who have lost loved ones uh, from this pandemic. And we certainly uh, feel of your uh, pain and we're here to support you through, uh, through the many years to come. But I just wanted to uh, reach out and just say whatever that we learned in, in, from this year, we need to take that and we need to look back and say, what did we learn about this year? And take that and move that forward to be able to build from it, to be able to take those uh, memories uh, from just living in what we've been able to go through or having to go through to be able to make things and make things better for the upcoming years. And oftentimes that we spent a lot of time at home. Uh, oftentimes a lot of us actually were, you know, quarantined and staying in home for quite some time with the closures and who knows what might take place uh, this upcoming uh, end of the year about uh, more closures uh, with our counties. But as we spend more time in our homes, may we look at our homes and take the time. Uh, recently, we were able to go through our house and we looked at our front door and we looked at different things of what are the projects that we could do, something simple. A lot of times when I go into homes that um, I'll point out things that, that we are so accustomed to that we just walk by those items or that house or that broken this or this not painted that or something that we just get so used to it as we walk by that we just kind of get used to it and just like, oh, that's right, I forgot about that. So a lot of times when I point out things as I go to list a home and to sell it, I find them telling these things that they realize, oh, I didn't really realize that, that my front door needed this or I had scratches all over this or whatever it is. But recently, Shannon and I, we looked at our front door and we looked at that we needed to paint the uh, interior, the trim. We've actually uh, had a couple of dings in some sheetrock walls that we've been able to take care of. So what are your projects? What are you go through and look at your home and say, what do I need to do to kind of, you know, spiff it up a little bit as we spend a little bit more time uh, indoors when is the ch winter changes or the season changes into winter and we have the time change and things that we find ourselves being home inside a little bit more. So take the opportunity. A couple of weeks ago, Shannon and I, my wife, um, decided to look around the house and to make up a list of things that we could do. Simple things of like taking our four by four posts on our outdoor deck and sanding them down with a, a sander and then then staining them as we were listening and listening to TV or something about how things were going in the world. But just spending some quality time with your family doing these projects. So I encourage you to do that and to be able to enjoy uh, this holiday season. We wish you, my family, the Hatch family, wishes you a very happy, happy holiday season. And any time that we can just stand together as a community stand together as a family and remember our family unit is so crucial and so important because that's where we go to first to be able to enjoy the peace of just this life and a piece of this world so take your family unity and your unit of that family and then spread that love through others and start spreading that through one smile at a time throughout the community that we can get through hard things and we know we can and we've experienced that in 2020 that us personally our family families, our community, our country, our world, we can do hard things and we can come out on top. So thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful and blessed day and happy and very happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Take care.